Arizona and New Mexico popcorn. The right to cereal any way you want it. We salute those who look to Kellogg's Corn Flakes and see a land of milk and honey. Or milk and strawberries. Peaches. To you who taste a mountain of possibilities in this humble flake, we say, let freedom pour. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Weed Be Gone from Ortho kills up to twice as many weeds as other brands, and it won't harm your lawn. Weather. Every day it moves and changes. There's something happening somewhere, and we bring you all of it in Weatherscope, the day's top weather stories, with live on-the-scene reports during major breaking events, up-to-the-minute forecasts for the nation and specific regions, and fascinating insight that lets you understand exactly what's happening and why. Weatherscope, it's all the weather you want. Every 30 minutes, on the hour and half hour, on the Weather Channel. In this half hour, Weatherscope, a comprehensive national forecast. At 40 after, TravelWise gives you the latest on travel hotspots. Then the weekend outlook. And at 50 after, the storm update. Right now on the Weather Channel, your local forecast. This weather scope is sponsored by Oldsmobile and your local Oldsmobile retailers. Next on Weather Scope, residents of the Northeast face a day of high winds, heavy rain, and snow in the mountain areas. Meanwhile, in the plains of the Midwest, residents continue their struggle to save homes and businesses from historic flooding. Those stories, plus in depth forecasts and analysis on this edition of Weather Scope. Once again, we're looking at a real miserable day shaping up for the northeastern part of the country with rain mixing with snow as far southward now as Philadelphia, believe it or not. Good morning, I'm Will Annan. I'm Rich Johnson. I don't believe that. Philadelphia? It's, it's in the computer. <laughs> okay, I, I saw it too. Uh, yeah, we saw some snow yesterday also around Buffalo and some accumulating snow. We can show you some of the scenes at Buffalo and... Yeah, sort of like it's looking around Philadelphia, I imagine. Some areas maybe a little bit of coating, but with temperatures into the mid-30s, the streets are bare and wet. And hey, that's not too terrible to travel on. Well, it's not that great, but hey, it's better than having the temp another three or four degrees colder below freezing, then there would be a mess. Well, as we look across the east, we see fair skies across the south. Into Texas, a few showers and an occasional thunderstorm developing. But into the northeast, we're looking at another nor'easter, not the bomb that we saw 
early April. That one really was a big one. This one, sort of a novelty. A couple weeks makes a little bit of difference with what type of weather we get, even though we're still getting some snow, as Will was mentioning, Philadelphia. Down to Millville, Atlantic City. How about that? Atlantic City, seeing some snow, occasionally moderate snow. Temperature well into the 30s, and mid-30s, with the wind gusty at times. The wind chill is close to 10 degrees. So what a nice day to be out at the beach with the wind chill of 10 for the month of April. Well, the temperatures near Burlington to Montpelier are at 32. So you might expect that there's some problems with travel. Moderate snow at Burlington, Montpelier, we could be looking at maybe three to six inches, even above 1,000 feet. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit more than that. Beautiful wind chills here, 16 at Erie and Pittsburgh, 19 at New York, 18 Philadelphia. You get the idea. It's a cold day. As we look at the satellite photograph, low pressure center stalled off of New York City. I think you can see this counterclockwise motion. That means it's not going to clear up anytime soon, especially with the moisture just pouring in farther to the north. Regional radar showing the rain toward the coast of Maine. Elevation as you get higher into the mountains, it is snowing, especially areas of western Vermont. Also, some of the higher elevations into northwest Connecticut and again, southern New Jersey, we are seeing the snow. Snow back to Philadelphia, occasionally mixing with rain, but Right now, this is mostly a system bringing the snow on in. In the deep south, a cold morning, 33 for low in Atlanta. It's up to 50 now. Cold morning coming up tomorrow morning for the state of Florida. Some of the records close to 50 degrees, for instance, West Palm. Similar readings for records near uh, Tampa over to Orlando. A little bit colder than that into the 40s. and We could be fairly close. Wind chills, how about that? Some wind chills, 36 Atlanta, 35 Raleigh. This is April. Will? Once again, we will talk about a developing system for the Pacific Northwest. Not bad today for Seattle, Tacoma, down towards Medford, but stand by because by later in the weekend, especially early next week, it looks like it's going to be turning much, much cooler and also a good chance of more rain as well. I'll show you what's going on right now. Here comes a good chance of uh, some more cloud cover in the region. And yesterday we did see the scattered showers east of Seattle and Tacoma, all the way over towards Boise and western Montana. A few more clouds today with a stalled out front, but it's gonna be our next system. You can see the moist, uh, moisture beginning to pool up already, and that is gonna be our developing rain for the weekend. It should be persisting right through later in the weekend and early next week. This is what's going on with the surface map right now. You know, once again, from western Montana, all the way over towards Boise and Medford, Oregon, a few widely scattered showers. Not a big deal there. Temperatures right now, again, reflect the cloud cover, a little bit warmer start in many areas, 49 degrees. In